Okay, the first thing you're going to do is find the Puppy Linux ISO file. So you're going to go to your browser, go to Google, type in Puppy Linux, go to this first page. Now the main page will give you a brief summary of Puppy Linux but what you're going to want to do is go to the download page go to this file and you're going to want to download the ISO file which would be this one you're going to click save and it's going to save that file to your downloads folder I've already saved it so there's no need to do that all right and I have here it is right here I got it saved to my desktop next thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already done it is download and install VirtualBox and I've already done that so I got it right here I'm going to click on it I'm going to start a new and I'm going to name it Puppy Linux and version I want to change that to Ubuntu next I'm going to give it a gig of memory create next next create Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is go into settings. There's a few things we need to look at. Go to system. Um, you want to make sure that enable PAE is on. And for the sake of this video, you can um, boost the video memory and acceleration that will be good to do. You don't necessarily have to do that since it's Puppy Linux, but I'm going to anyways. And I'm going to turn the audio off. Alright, click OK. I'm going to start this. And now it's going to ask you to mount your ISO file. So you're going to browse. It's going to be on my desktop. Click it. I'm going to start. Now, now it's going to download Puppy Linux. It's loading all the drivers and everything, so give it just a minute. okay and now it's finished and sometimes it doesn't load up right all the drivers don't load up properly so what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and exit out of all this and right click on your screen and go to exit to prompt and you're going to want to type this in and most of the time you want to go to VISA and for this one I'm going to select 800 by 600 and I'm going to select unconfirmed maximum for monitor okay for card 
Now I'm going to want to type an xwin command. And that should start up my puppy Linux. And everything's good here. Um, and that's how you set up puppy Linux on VirtualBox. Thank you.